In our Sunrise Smart Start, that breaking news, police investigating a quadruple shooting on North Clinton Avenue in Rochester this morning. That left one person dead and three others injured. Erica DeCoste has been following this investigation all morning for us, and she joins us now live with the latest. Erica, good morning. Good morning, and this has been a upgraded to a quadruple shooting. We've been reporting a triple shooting, but police just moments ago telling us a fourth victim walked into the hospital around 4.30, and the road in North Clinton here has also been opened up. Uh, you're looking at right now the police scene. The investigators are looking over where a 24-year-old man died. This basketball court, they say, is where an altercation took place. They say about a few hundred people were out here partying outside the Trenton Pamela Jackson R Center right here on North Clinton. At the time this happened, and they say the party uh, it was a loud crowd. They say it was unruly. It made it difficult for AMR to arrive. So that 24-year-old was actually transported to the hospital via a police cruiser instead of an ambulance because of the crowd made it difficult. And again, he was pronounced dead moments later. Uh, take a listen from an officer we spoke to earlier, the, earlier this morning about how he described the chaos. I can tell you that this crowd of two to 300 people was unruly. Uh, they were uh, fighting as officers were on scene. Officers were trying to render aid to the victim and weren't able to do so immediately because of the, the uh, actions of the crowd. Again, you're looking at the aftermath of a quadruple shooting. A 24-year-old man has died. This is on North Clinton Avenue, right by Trenton and Pamela Jackson. Our center, we're looking at investigators picking up evidence and setting down crime markers as they continue this in in investigation. Of course, we'll keep you posted right here on News 8 as this develops. Allie. All right, Ericetta, thank you so much. And as police continue their investigation, you can follow this breaking story on air and online at rochesterfirst.com. Let's turn things over to James Gilbert now for a look at our Tuesday forecast. Starting near 70 degrees, James, yeah. and a little muggy out there because we are expecting some rain later. Yeah, and we actually have some rain uh, right now on the west oh. side. There we go. It's yeah. already here. Yeah, there you go. Yep, some uh, seeing some rain showers. It's very light. And you can see it here on uh, radar and satellite working its way into uh, Monroe County. So uh, Hilton, uh, Hamlin, Parma going to get some rain here in just a few moments. Kendall, you're getting a quick passing downpour. Then we dry out. Then we see the next round likely closer to 9 to 10 a.m. So the playground, there will be some dry time mixed in there. But generally, we'll be contending with some passing rain showers if you do want to uh, get outside. We'll have the uh, eight-day forecast and a peek at the weekend at the end of the show. Allie. All right, James, thank you. Taking a look at the road, same story out there. No accidents. 394, 95, 90 are on time. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning. Happening today, Mayor Malik Evans and the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra will kick off the outdoor around the town ensemble concerts. Those begin at 630 tonight. Residents who want to attend and sit down are encouraged to bring a lawn chair or a blanket. These concerts are running every Tuesday until July 26. And for a full list of where and who is performing, you can head to the city of Rochester.gov. Well, today at the Thurston Road YMCA from 4 p.m. until 7 p.m., there's a celebration for freedom fighter Austin Stewart from the early days of Rochester. It includes theatrical monologues, panel discussion, black-owned business vendors, and a giveaway of his book. Stewart worked with Frederick Douglass and John Brown throughout his life and continued his fight against slavery. He was inducted into the first class of the Rochester Business Hall of Fame in 2001, and he remained in Rochester until he died in 1860. Elijah Juan Holt will appear in court today. Officials say Holt was taken into custody in 2020, charged with second-degree murder for the death of Paris Washington on Barden Street in June. On police arrival, they said they located Washington in the backyard, dead with at least one gunshot wound. Police say at the time, Holt was on parole for a prior assault conviction, and additional charges could be filed for violating his supervised release. New this morning, two men are in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries after being shot last night in Rochester. Police say this happened just after 1 in the morning in the area of Robber Street and Joseph Avenue after two men had been dropped off to Rochester General Hospital with gunshot wounds. Additionally, officials tell us several vehicles in the area were hit by gunfire. The, the men and women of our department um, 
are kind of used to the pace, quite honestly. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit busier tonight, but, but they, they uh, are used to a fast pace, so they're holding up just fine. Uh, obviously, none of us want to be going to, to scenes like this, but unfortunately, we do. No suspects are in custody, and police say there is no current threat to the public. Well, a fire broke out on East Henrietta Road last night, damaging the Back to My Place bar in Henrietta. Officials say the bar will be closed for an extended period of time as a result. Henrietta Fire District responded to the fire a little past 10 last night and were able to get that fire under control in less than an hour. All patrons were evacuated and nobody was injured. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Meanwhile, the search for a missing man with Asperger syndrome is now over. Officials say 21-year-old Abner Lopez, seen on your screen, returned on his own accord last night and is safe. Well, in national news, police have taken Robert Cremo III into custody as a person of interest after a shooting in Illinois, killing at least six and injuring dozens more during an Independence Day parade. Happening just after 10 a.m., police say the gunman opened fire from a nearby rooftop, spraying bullets onto the crowd below. Police say they spotted the person of interest vehicle almost nine hours later and stopped him after a brief chase. This individual uh, is believed to have been responsible for what happened. They processed a significant amount of uh, digital evidence today, which uh, helped uh, lead investigators uh, in this direction. Investigators say they recovered a firearm at the scene. Charges are pending as the investigation continues. Two police officers were shot in Philadelphia during Independence Day festivities last night. According to officials, the officers were hit just as the fireworks began and are currently in stable condition. There are currently no suspects in custody. Developing closer to home, a father, two daughters, and a dog are dead after crews tried to save them from a house fire yesterday in Buffalo. The Buffalo Fire Commissioner says it happened around 3.30 in the morning when a neighbor reported seeing flames coming from the second floor. He says the mother is expected to survive. Three victims were identified as Jonathan Jensen and Jordan and Daniels. The father, Dr. Jonathan Daniels, served as the Associate Director of Admissions at the University of Buffalo's Jacobs School of Medicine. The university is making counseling services available for students and staff. While most were celebrating the 4th of July yesterday, many folks were also walking in opposition to the recent decision by the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Demonstrators in Rochester gathered around noon to march in support of access to abortions and reproductive care. That walk began at Susan B. Anthony House and finished at City Hall. Organizers stressed this was a peaceful march to show solidarity for those who do not have the same rights as New York residents. Well, here is what some people might be talking about at the water cooler this morning. Uh, looking at the firework displays from last night across our area, there were shows for the holiday all over the region, in Rochester, in Henrietta, in Arondequoit. James, uh, some beautiful footage there yeah. of the fireworks. Lots and lots and lots of people out celebrating oh, the 4th of July. The best. Um, did you get to see any of the fireworks show? Not a, no, nothing. It's Zero. a little past our bedtime. It's way too past our bedtime. Did Mason wake up to the fire? Uh, you know, he's been kind of getting over a cold, so he does some coughing in the late nights, mm -hmm. and the monitor will go off because, you know, we have the, the fancy little monitor thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so that goes off. But And I heard some rumbles off in the distance of uh, some of those really loud ones. I'm on the east side, uh, mm -hmm. and so I know there was a show in Brighton as well. It was probably one of the closer shows to me. Um, those big boomers you can certainly uh, hear uh, and your dog Nala did all right with the she did all she right said. but my husband uh, being the dog dad he is yeah. drove her around in the uh, car because the fireworks go off right over yeah. our condo oh, downtown so uh, very very loud and yeah that freaks her out so sure comes with the good and the bad uh, you are not alone in that I have a couple no. of friends with dogs mm -mm. that uh, it's caring for the dog on the fourth yeah uh, their cats don't seem to have too much of an issue with it they're pretty chill <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anybody say my cat hates it uh, but but, you know, who knows? Uh, cats may have some trouble with it, too. Uh, so whether you enjoyed it or it was a tough day, today's the 5th. And we're hanging in the 70s. It's an umbrella day. I'd maybe even have the umbrella with you, Allie, or grab the rain jacket as we kick off this Tuesday. Some good tips there. Thank you, James. And thank you so much for watching us here on Sunrise. Uh, have a great rest of your day.
CBS Mornings is up next.